one show, one show that I didn't like and I absolutely hated. I'm getting up on the screen. Um, no, what is it? It's not called The Rig. That's a magazine back in the day. What's it called? Uh, Rig. No, is it called The Rig? The Rig. The Rig. I think Amazon, right? That's the one. So there's this show, not the rigger. Big at the rigger. That was an old. I think a bunch of it's still out. Was it like an? Was it like a football culture kind of fancy magazine? I forgot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Big up those guys. But there's a show called The Rig that's out on Amazon Prime right now. And I always get duped by these things because I just got a thing for thrillers and you know whatever it may be. And it looked on the face of it to be quite interesting because I remember there was a time when I went to LA a real long time ago and I was on the plane and. I happened to get talking to people on my row. For whatever reason, I don't know why we were all sitting in a row in a Virgin Airways and we all got talking, which rarely happens on flights. Usually on flights, you might have a brief word with somebody sitting next to you because you, know, you need to get up to get your bag and they might share a joke or two. But for whatever reason, all three of us sitting in our row end up chatting away for most of the flight. And it was quite nice. And one of the dudes that was sitting to my right, I think, or to my left, he was uh, working on an oil rig. And that's the first time I really had any sort of insight behind it. And, you know, I learned a lot about, like, you know, how horrible it can be, how fun it can be sometimes, depending on what crew you're with, the amount of money they can make, which is a lot in a very short period of time. But, you know, no communication with um, basically back home. You have to miss your family for long periods of time. The hours are a bit crazy. And, you know, the education that goes behind it, blah, 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 blah. So really cool, interesting stuff behind it. But I remember him also talking a lot about the interpersonal politics that happened on rigs. I think it's concerning, like, you know, um, the the kind of corporations that own them, where they're situated at, uh, the countries you have to visit, the waters that they're in. There's all this geopolitics, many things going on there, environmental stuff. So it's really interesting. So when I saw the show, I was like, oh, this would be sick because it would be maybe an opportunity to kind of glean a little bit more. Into, and again, I know it's a fictional sort of stuff, but it would still be nice to sort of kind of see how they present um, the oil rigs and the culture behind them and the role they play in society and whatever it may be. And there was an opportunity, I felt like, to tell a very interesting story. Very, especially nowadays, given what we know about climate change. And for whatever reason, this show, The Rig on Amazon, failed on every single department. It's legitimately one of the worst things I've ever watched in my entire life. And I felt annoyed that I wasted however long it was to get through all the flipping first episodes, uh, the first season, sorry. Tragic. And by the end of it, you don't really know anything more than what you knew from the beginning. There's no real idea on what anything is, what the threat they're facing is. Is it an alien? Is it life? Is it, uh, is it a flip? What is it? Um, is it a virus? You'd have no idea. It's just so ambiguous, so vague for the sake of it. It tries to be clever, but just comes across as dumb. The characters don't make any sense. Oh, the characters on this are awful. The actors, the actors are good. The characters are awful. For whatever reason, all the characters on this show are super disobedient. And from what I'm understanding of an oil rig, a lot of cooperation is needed to make that thing work. You can't just have people just deciding what they want to do on the whim because a lot of that things are going to a lot of your actions could you know negatively affect other people so you kind of have to you know uh, go by the book you kind of have to follow procedure throw to follow protocol just to ensure everybody's overall safety not to be a job's worth but for some reason in this thing everybody's some sort of flipping crusader everyone's out to seek the truth out to stand up for this out to do this is like dude sit your ass down bruv you're gonna get someone killed and of course naturally people do get killed and it seems that the reaction to people getting killed is really weird it's like oh you know they got killed because of my actions oh well what can you do it's like <laughs> why isn't there a revolt why isn't that person being hung up or being you know hung drawn and quartered themselves like why are they just alive also and the people that stay alive on this thing oh my god more people need to die people die on the show but more people should die than they already do die um yeah the, everything's the only thing that's good about it is maybe some of the actors now like, maybe even the actors actually it's wasted on them the, uh, the writing is so bad it makes the actors that are generally good t sound horrible um the pacing is terrible it doesn't go anywhere anywhere soon i think from episode three onwards i was skimming large parts of the flipping dialogue because it didn't matter nothing was actually happening just to kind of get to the flipping chunk of the story and still it was flipping missing and you know just crappy and just without any sort of sus substance it was horrible 
horrible, horrible, to the point where I legitimately was furious with myself for committing to finishing it. But I already crossed the flipping four episode threshold and I just had to go to the end. And by the time I got to the end, I was like, what a waste of time. What a waste of time. So if you do have some time when you're on your schedule to watch something, I recommend you don't watch the rig. It's absolutely terrible. And I'll be surprised if it gets a season two. Legitimately one of the biggest waste of times I've ever seen. It's such a missed opportunity to, to actually tell an interesting story. I'm sure it's an interesting story that you could tell, but they completely missed the mark by, I don't know, whatever else bullshit they were doing. Complete crap. Get out of here. I don't care about it. And I'm absolutely furious. I might have to mention it, but I just had to because, oh my God, what an absolutely terrible, horrendous show. What a waste of time. I can't, I can't believe I wasted any time flipping checking that stuff out. I honestly cannot believe it.